fucking called it. What the? <laughs> I told you this is where the sex jokes ramp up. <clears throat> hey kids, you look like you need a good meal. How about buying some of this fresh fish? It's yummy. Fresh? We're at the top of a mountain range. Well, <laughs> the legal definition of fresh in Nanza is anything that isn't slimy. Ooh. No, thank you. Sounds like how things are at this house. The new Dragon Master appeared in Lan, but he's using his dragon to steal from villagers. I thought the Dragon Master was supposed to be the protector of Althena, not a bloomin' fish snatcher. Bloomin'. <laughs> I can't think of a more heinous crime, Alex. Stealing fish. No, I can think of about a million. Ooh, another. I transport goods between Meridian and the rest of the towns of the continent. It's hard work, but it's always worth it when I reach the barrier and see Cal. Mm -mm. <laughs> Cal never charges a fee for women and children crossing the barrier. Whoa, mountain. I can't say I'm thrilled with how much it costs to pass the barrier. But the monster population has soared in the last few weeks, and I'll choose my life over my money any, every time. Hello, stranger. Jesse, it, it was nothing. You don't understand. It wasn't like that. <laughs> Jessica. <clears throat> Look, over there, it's Moravia. I was there once when I was a kid. Uh, you still are a kid. I'm not a kid, I'm a lady. <laughs> Can you see Berg from here? Berg, I'm a lady! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so all that's left to explore would be the top level of all three towers. Hello, stranger. I suppose you kids noticed that the guards working here are thieves, but they're good people despite that. I hired those bodyguards when I traveled into the, into the Maria zone to sell my patented and extra strength piles solve. What? I guess it makes sense in a strange way, hiring the guards on me. Well, I guess she has a point. If you hire the thieves to protect you, then the thieves have no reason to rob you because they're already getting money. Did I talk to him? <clears throat> When I'm going to the Maria zone to sell my wares, the brigands of the barrier protect me. But they charge so much for their services, they might as well rob me at knife point. <laughs> <clears throat> the Maria zone is home to a man named Damon. He's supposed to be the guardian of knowledge, but he locked himself in the highest floor of a huge tower teeming with ferocious monsters. You think a guy with so much knowledge would know better than do to do to the no better than to do something so stupid. Um, maybe he knows something about the dragons, Alex. Mm. Okay, wait, I need to go down. Oh yeah, that's the inflatable sex doll, man. You, uh, you work on that, buddy. You should have a talk with that girl right there. Sound the sex toys. <clears throat> Alright, we need to head this way. We come on behalf of the Magic Guild, sir. We have been ordered to travel the lawn by Galleon himself. Let us pass. He is my master. Listen up, boy. I don't care if you were sitting here by the goddess herself. I don't care if you were bringing milk and cookies to my own dear mother. Nobody gets through this gate without Kyle's permission. Now, alas, I think the man is drunk off his horse at the moment. Uh, can we talk to him anyway? We're really in a hurry. Mm. The last I saw of him, Beastie, he was thoroughly enjoying a glass of our finest brew in the North Tower. <coughs> yeah, I already found Kyle, but sure. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Uh, well, that was north. If he's in another tower, I swear to God, I'm gonna go back and smack that guy. Because that was definitely north. This is not north, this is east. 
I just held a hand, Jessica. Why are you so angry? <laughs> Wait. See, I know that's Kyle. But what the hell am I supposed to do to continue the story? <clears throat> um. Um. Hey dude, what brings you to the barrier? On an adventure, huh? Cool man. If you head south from here, you'll be into the Maria zone, but it's totally overrun of monsters. Words to the wise, avoid. Yeah, cool. Cool story, bro. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Well, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Yes, cow, cow, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Buddy, just let me out. This guy? Oh, that's what it was. Have I seen Kyle? He was stumbling toward the East Tower with a mug of ale the size of my hand. Let's go find him, Alex. I mean, I already knew where he was, but yeah, sure. Let's talk to the guy to, you know, trigger it. Oh, look! He's not here. My friend Kaya was here a while ago, but he went to get some food because he was hungry. I bet he went to the cafeteria in the basement. That's where I go to get ice cream. You're killing me, game. wouldn't even talk to me today. He got rip rolling drunk instead. Wait, is this a lady? I think it's a lady. He's still fuming over that encounter with his ex-girlfriend. I saw him, um, sashaying to his bedroom, but I don't know if he should go to sleep. After all those beers he drank, he might not wake up. Where the fuck is... Where's his bedroom? Down here? No? Get out the way. Bedroom? Get out the way. You are running away now before the tiger in the jail is eating your bones. I am wetting myself. What is wrong with this guy? What is with the random people speaking like broken English? I am greatly hoping the giant kitty does not escape and chew vigorously upon my colon. <laughs> what is wrong with him? The giant kitty does not escape. Oh. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> you are please going to sleep, boss. Uh, tiger, I am rather meaning to say. Having a pet tiger seems like a very bad idea. I think I'd take a tiger over a drunkard any day. Going away, please. I am already most humiliating. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> Cal's finally asleep. Thank the goddess. When he gets drunk, he gets completely out of control. So we lock him in a jail cell until he dries out. I wish he'd stop arguing with Jessica and just admit how he feels for her. Oh, that's what's his room. I was supposed to talk to him first. <clears throat> <laughs> trying to render stupidity? Maybe so. Oof! Oof! My boss is most certainly wasted. He is becoming this way every time he's speaking with Jessica. I am wishing they would make up most happily and start boxing their tonsils. Oh yes! <laughs> start boxing their tonsils. 
I'm gonna have to use that one. Hey girl, you wanna do some tonsil boxing? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the broken English is good. Wait for it. And pop. No? Good god. There it goes. Oh, what a night. Kyle had himself another night of wine, women, and song. Just between you and me, I think I had a little too much of the wine. But the women didn't complain. <laughs> sure they did it. <clears throat> Damn drunkard. <clears throat> Snort. Belch. You are being quiet, kids. Kyle sleeps most calmly, and you are riling him into furious anger. What? This sloppy drunk is in charge of Nanza? So what's he doing drooling all over the floor of this jail cell? When the boss is getting worked up, he is becoming most entirely berserk and uncontrollable. When he is having a most disturbing battle with his old girlfriend, we are knowing it was coming. <laughs> so we are encouraging him to drink most excessively and throwing him into the brig. It is being for the best. <laughs> God. <clears throat> what is going on out there? Kyle, it is being nothing, nothing at all. You are going back to sleep now. <sighs> okay, sleepies. That was being too close. I would make you a deal. If you are not disturbing Kyle again, I am ordering the guard to open the west gate most swiftly. I am suggesting you accept my offer before I am throwing you into the cell of Kyle and devouring the key. Devouring the key? Alright, broken English man. You a bit fucking crazy. Jessica was Kyle's girlfriend? Wow! I wonder if they still have feelings for each other. Anything else you want to say? You are briskly walking away from here before Kyle awakens and gnaws on my foot. <laughs> Does he do that often? Does he gnaw on your foot? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> what the hell? I have to say that was fucking strange. I could have told you Kyle was going to get toasted the second his lady friend stormed out of here. You didn't actually try to wake him up, did you? Few things in this world are uglier than Kyle and a bender, except perhaps my mother on one. Wow, damn. We were about to wake him up when someone, if that was a person, stopped us. And a wise man he was, freak. Wow, don't call Noah a freak like that. You might as well wander into a cave and tickle the hibernating bear. Why don't you run along now before you get us all fired? <clears throat> 